the automotive are doing a video on the Kim AT and shout out at GMC Adrenet and check out GL G GMC Yinkin Yinkin and what cat oh my god yeah you missed out <laughs> Yinkin and Ford shout out at GL making me do I said GMC where where are they it from this is the vehicle. It's a nice vehicle. I see a yacht of them on the road, but I never did a video. It's kind of it's very filthy. I wish they can wash it, but it looks very filthy. Let me check out the trunk. That's the trunk. So this is the seats. You can put the seats up. from this button right here and you can push them up like this so yeah you have second row seats in here and stuff like that and then you have your subwoofer you have your you have your shrunk and then you have your charge port right there and then this is supposed to close the shrunk that's where you could. I would, I would prefer to be on the tailgate and then you have your backup camera and stuff like that. Let's look inside. It's like, well, let's start it up. You can automatically start it. So, I guess it's not going to start, but. This is how the back looks. This is the back of it. I never view one of these. I always see these. I went to New York and I saw a lot of these. A lot of the people driving these. These is at the rear of the car. This is at the back. It looks kind of like a minivan. And then you got your Primark sunroof with this cut off. Then you got your yacht right here. Yeah, your heated and cool seats in the rear. So that's pretty neat. And then you got your charge port that you um out here. And then you can you like you can move it too. So that's pretty neat too. Then you got your cup holders right there. And then back here you got your seat it's gonna entertain you guys. I'm coming back here. I can't foot back here, so that's, that's the radio machine. Then you got vents back here, your cup holders, and then you got another cup holders right here. You need to fix this. Um, this needs to be fixed. And you got your speaker right there. Um, so, what we're going to do is go to the front of the vehicle. And then you got your ear vents. got your little shade right here to put up. I wish it was electric sometime, then this is how you put back on the door. Then it's not yet the button you press, I just never went to that one at this one is a 2019. So this one has a smart key access. How do you keep this in your pocketbook or po pocketbook or pocket and stuff like that? You can yacht the door and then when you come up it opens it has a sensor on the behind door handle so this is the interior if you use the old yinkin stuff this would be a very meal to you so you put your foot on the brake You got AC seats right here. Um, where do I start? Okay, this interior, I feel like this Komoda we like a 804, but you got your Bluetooth that you're right here to go through your your settings over here. You got your compass as to show that, and this is supposed to. 
show over here to you show your information and stuff like that. That's your your meter. So you know what I mean? And you can go show your little gas meter right there. This is the full this is the first car I've ever been that has a full tank of gas. Like it's crazy. Um you got your HRDs. HRDs not head amps, HRDs. They are adapted yikes. They will like They will turn a swivel, so they have adapted item. And this one is a 2019, it's 50,000. This is like the old yinking stuff, I noticed. Um, the eye control right there. You do not have power folding mirrors, so that's pretty like for 50,000. I should have power folding mirrors, you know what I mean? So, um, I just turned on the vent AC. Um, this is a navigation system. Uh, this is navigation that you're. I don't need to read it. Apple CarPlay. And this one, this one is your Bluetooth settings. Um, this one is for your, your ventilated. You got ventilated seats and you got ventilated seats in the back. You got it. Heated steering wheel. Um, you you got your your um, radio control. This one that's the premium audio system is right here. That's the premium audio system. This is. Uh, this is how you turn it down. So that's pretty neat. I kind of like that. This is how you turn down the AC control and then you can go to your app right here it's now set up you have to hook in your phone um, you can go to your settings right here um, these are all your bunch of settings uh, see how this is stuff you can do in this car um, and then you can go to your your car settings, your backup camera, your riding, your Abbott riding, shoot a car so you can see the riding on the bottom and on the door. So you got Abbott riding in here too. So, um, I didn't say how to update and I need to do, but I guess it's just the job done then, but. This is what I view when I got the other Yankins products. You got your do zone, your auto, your heated steering wheel, your vent AC. So that's pretty nice to throw all that in there. Because you are paying over $50,000 for this vehicle. So and then you got this, the sunshade and the... You can do the sunshade and then over here you, you can open this. It doesn't open, that's weird. It's supposed to like open. Oh, so you hold on this button. But it's very weird. How did us never put it on the um shade? So you hold on the button that says the shade. The, this one is just for ventilation. So this one is your home ink. You got your mirror control right here. You got your heated steer, your um, out of the mirror right here. So, in the points of options, I don't think it's no safety equipment like blind spot monitoring. It does have blind spot monitoring on here, and I don't see any adaptive cruise control. You do that four years, a free mate, free um warranty on here but you know what I mean bear with me y'all because I just started out like this so I kind of get kind of nervous with the camera but you know what I mean and then you got your cover cut these seats are very soft though they're very soft seats and then you got your USB port you got your charge port right there 
You got your cup holders. You got your park. This will automatic park for you and all that stuff. So you got all that. So you got, you got your um, you got your charge, your um, charge port. And then the cup holders are the added too. So that's like, like this one has cell park in it. This one that Yang keep assist too. So when you're coming up, when you it keeps you in the, your, your Yang too. So I try to figure out does it have adaptive cruise control? I think it does. I think it has a adaptive cruise control too. And it has, um, let's see, I think it has adaptive cruise control, yes, it has adaptive cruise control in here. Adaptive cruise control is like, when you set the cruise control, you take your foot off the, um, the brake and all that, it will just cruise you, then when the car is slowing down, you will slow down. Then the end keep is supposed to keep your end, and then you got blind spot monitoring too. And then you got your memory seats right here. Then you got your fog amps. How you turn on your fog amps? You turn it on like this. So it would turn on when you turn on the, the vehicle. You know what I mean? And then when you put it into drive, yeah, like sometimes. When you put it into a verse. I got the key. When you put it in the verse, you see the backup camera, and you do that your, you do that your parking sensors, and but it doesn't turn when you turn the wheel, so that's pretty crazy. But you do that parking sensors too, on the vehicle. So when you're coming up, it will will automatic park, park itself, and if you're going up to another vehicle, you see you going up, it will automatic beep at you. Like when you're coming up, you know what I mean? It will automatically beep. So this one is not beeping, so let me put it back into the game. And I have it in reverse. So you know what I mean? I don't hit nobody car, so. So this one has the park pilot and all that stuff. So it has a lot of nice features in here, you know what I mean? It has a lot of nice features and and I like I like the um the navigation. The navigation is pretty neat. Um you can go through your menu, um you can put in your destination and all that through here. This is how you do it. You can type in your destination so that's that's pretty neat you can set your home you can add your home you can look for for food places in your area so that's that's pretty neat I like that feature and then these is all touch sensitive buttons you can turn off your radio then you can turn it on you can turn on your your tin or you can turn it off it's all send all buttons in your max AC um, you can turn on back your radio this is your blinker then you got your CD player right here and then over here you got a charge port and some other cup holders and you can take this out if you want to clean it too so that's pretty nice and then you got a yet this is a extra too and then you got your pedals too okay so that's pretty nice. You got your pedals, and then this is electric. This over here is automatic. This is for your high beams. So, um, this is for your rear of your car. So. It's, I like it, it's all tied in one and it's something I just have to get used to. You know what I mean? 
and you just push it like this to turn them on to turn them off this one has a tip the automatic high beams are not double sure most Jenkins come with it and you can cushion you. I like how they just did the screen like this you can cushion you your previous settings in your phone book and stuff like that I, I, I like that though the steering wheel full nice and they got the little wood grain I got the little station in here makes it your premium the ventilated seats work good too, so that's that's a pretty up one, you know what I mean? They work very good, so and you got your out of them in mirror and your sunshade, so and you, I, and this is an out of them in mirror, but not that one. I don't know why automakers used to do that because it used to be both out of them in mirror, so I don't know why they make it like that. So um So what I kind of do is shut off the vehicle. So when yeah, we're coming out the vehicle, then we'll have like an exit, so the seat will move back, so I can come out the vehicle. So I just press the door. Oh, and then right here, you can set like a code to get into the vehicle if you don't have the key. Let's say you leave this key inside the car, and when you leave it inside the car. You can you can press this to open the car, and you can set the code inside the, the um, system over there. So let's say you're at the beach and you don't want to carry the key, you can throw the key inside the bag. You have it in the car, and that's at the car pressing this. So that's that's a pretty neat option. I got that option though, because some sometimes you don't want to take this key everywhere with you, especially if you're on the beach or you're going into a pool or stuff like that. So you can use this and yacht the car, and then. How you start this car? The MKT. So it's MKT. Yeah. Oh, is that wrong for some reason? So you hold this down. You press it two times, and you hold it down. It's supposed to start the vehicle. I don't know why is it not started. And it usually will start when you hold it down. Okay, so something wrong. Usually it will automatic start so subscribe and AI for more videos and this is actually my first time I see a yacht of these I never thought I would do a video on this one this one is kind of like the oldest one in the, the lineup kind of so and it has a yacht of nice features for the price so subscribe and AI for more videos and if you need any Yankin or any Ford shout out at Geo at Ford and you can in Greenwich and when you come in, ask for Geo. So, shout out. And sorry about all the mistakes, I did better. And subscribe and AI for more videos. I'll be back soon. Peace, yeah.